Have you lost the road to happiness? It seems that everyone these days is looking for a quick fix for happiness. It's like the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. If we try to pursue it, we'll never find it. Only God can fill that empty, aching void in our heart. Not money, not drugs or sex or alcohol. We inherited a willful, sinful nature from the very beginning in the Garden of Eden. Consequently, it just goes against our grain to submit and obey. We'd much rather do our own thing, what we want to do. From the very beginning, God set forth the fundamentals of happiness. If we just strive for happiness as a goal in itself, we'll never find it because that's just like chasing a shadow and never catching the substance at all. Nowadays, everything is so sped up that you can spend half your life in your car. There's a drive-in for nearly everything you can think of. A drive-in for fast food, for going to the movies, another for doing your banking, and in some places you don't even have to leave your car to attend Sunday church service. It's all done through speakers hooked up to your car. Referring to the future, the prophet Daniel spoke of knowledge being increased, many going to and fro. And around that same time, as Daniel said that, the prophet Nahum wrote, The chariots storm the streets, rushing back and forth through the squares. They look like flaming torches. They dart about like lightning. I don't think that anyone would dispute the fact that everyone is after the same thing in life and that is to be happy. You may think there's some secret ingredient to contentment. Well, there is, and that ingredient is in obeying what God has told us to do. Jesus' whole sample showed us that the way to be happy is by helping others and giving to them, putting the needs of others before our own. He spelled it out for us when he said that in order to have joy, we should ask and receive that our joy may be full. Joy is the aftermath of obedience. If you know these things, happy are you if you do them. When you yield your will to God, it brings rest, peace, and joy to your spirit. It seems that the famed poet Ella Wheeler Wilcox was looking for this thing called happiness when she wrote, I've lost the road to happiness. Does anyone know it, I pray? I was dwelling there when the morn was fair, but somehow I wandered away. I saw rare treasure and scenes of pleasure and ran to pursue them when, lo, I had lost the road to happiness and knew not whither to go. But there is a way back to happiness for anyone who asks, so where can you find it? Well, real happiness is found by obeying what God has told us to do. Oscar Hammerstein II fitly expressed it when he said, Love wasn't put in your heart to stay. Love isn't love until you give it away. Happiness finds us when we show love and help others. Many people think they are unhappy because of conditions and circumstances around them, but that's not really the case. It's because of what's wrong in the heart. When the heart is selfish and self-centered, we fall out of harmony with God. If you're looking for love, then give love. If you want to find happiness, make others happy, and then you'll find the true meaning of happiness. Jesus said, Give, and it shall be given to you. This is the true road to happiness.